Hi everyone, welcome to Big Sky Beauty. I'm Julie, and today is Saturday Smileys, and I have a couple dukes at the end too, and they're really prolific ones. So let's get started, okay? First off, many of you don't know this because even though I filmed the beginning of it and I've made several videos since, I have yet to put them up. Um, on January 1st, I started a lifestyle change to get this weight off of me before it crushes my bones and I purchased this thing from Costco it's the miracle ball method and it comes with this little book that has a whole bunch of different um, positions and stuff and these two little balls and I have been loving this it, it it's much like the big medicine balls except you have to use much more core strength to balance yourself on these little balls so I am seeing some incredible results with this little this little thing here. Um, it's called the Miracle Ball Method and Costco has it and if you guys don't, you know, I mean any kind of little ball would work but this book is really neat. It gives you all the you know, all the little things that you can do with the balls because you know, come on, you look at this and you think, what the heck am I going to do with that? Bounce it off my grandson's head? <laughs> but yeah, I've been seeing some incredible results in my thighs and calves with it and I've just been very, very happy with these. I also use my little five pound weights, but I don't think that really makes a whole lot of difference compared to what the, the you know, gadget itself or the balls themselves are doing. So I have been really, really happy with that. Um, matter of fact, I'm quite tickled with the results I'm getting. And even when it's all said and done, I will still use it because I'm liking it so much. Okay, next, and just like with next, last Saturday Smiley's, how I had rediscovered my uh, MAC palette, I also rediscovered my MAC Cream Blush palette. Now, I think I told you guys recently that I am trying to get into using as much creams as possible, just because they sit so much better on my skin than powders do. And I forgot how much I loved my MAC Cream Blushes. Now, these two vibrant ones here are NYX. These ones here, you can see where I've... Well, actually, no, you can't. But, yeah, these two here are NYX. And this is the orange and the hot pink. But I love them. I'm, I mean, the orange looks crazy, and so does the pink, but they sheer out beautifully, you guys. And these are... I'm not sure if it's out of their new line or not. Um, I haven't had them very long. But these ones I've had for a long time. This is Brit Wet. This is Posy. And this is Lady Blush. Posy. Oh, I don't know if you're going to be able to see them on those fingers because they're stained. Okay, there you go. There's Posy. There's Brit Wet. And Lady Blush. And if you guys are into cream blushes like I am, um, those are very, very nice. Very nice cream blushes. Matter of fact, I think MAC makes the, the my favorite of all the cream blushes I've tried. And I've tried a lot. <laughs> Probably all, as a matter of fact. I've tried them all. And I just love, love, love them. Love me a good cream blush, and Macs are really nice. And those two next ones are really nice, too. So, pigmented, oh my gosh. I can't see you using up a pan of those in a lifetime. I mean, if you're using it on yourself. Which, my cream products, I only use on myself. I don't, um, I don't, I don't share those with my customers, you know, when it comes to cream stuff. So, I'm having a bad hair day. Sorry about that. Also, what I have been really loving since before spring even hit, but... Um, it just makes me feel like when I'm coming into spring with my winter skin, you know, and I get really dark, dark, dark in the summertime, even though I do wear sunscreen, but I'm outside so much, and I am a sweater. So when we're up on the four-wheelers or something, and I'm sweating, I, you know, I would literally have to keep it on me. I just, I try my best. <laughs> I really do, but I still get dark. I mean, I look Native American well, I'm half Native American, but I look full in the summertime. And I have discovered that this stuff here, and we've all know about this product, the NYX Glow, uh, what's it called, the Born to Glow? I've got both of them, the one in the golden color and the, um, the pink color. And these look, you know, right out of the little tube. Oh, crap. Well, that was unintentional. Right out of the little tube, these things don't look like anything you want to put on your face. But you mix these in with a little bit of foundation, and they are so pretty, you guys. Don't, you know, it's not any kind of sparkle that's going to settle in your lines. It's much like the Revlon Illuminating stuff that they came out with a few months back, but a lot cheaper. 
Actually, you know what? I don't know if it's that much cheaper. I got these so long ago, and I never did get that Revlon one. I'm not sure if they're much cheaper or not. I'll tell you the truth, so don't quote me on that. Okay, anyways. Quaker, uh, here's a food item for you. The Quaker Soft Baked Bars, okay? With the little four-year-old in the house, I have to have snacks and treats, right? Plus my husband. I make my husband's lunches for him. And I'm always trying to put stuff in his lunch that isn't so bad as what he would prefer, which are endless Jack Link's beef and cheese packages. <laughs> Anyways, I bought these at Costco the other day, and they are decadent. Decadent, you guys. If you want a nice snack that isn't going to completely wreck your lifestyle change or your diet, you got to get these. They come in, uh, the, the box has 24 bars in it, and there's 12 cinnamon pecan and 12 banana nut bread, and they are, oh my gosh, they're soft and chewy, packed full of nuts, which I love nuts. I am a nut freak. And the cinnamon pecan ones obviously have pecan nuts in them, but oh my god, they're so good. They got this a thin drizzle of icing on the top, and I tell you, you eat one of these and drink a glass of water, and you are full until your next meal. And they, they're all, you know, they're granola bars. They're packed all full of goodness, but not not so much, you know, straight up low calorie. But um, it's a meal in a bar for sure. Um, and tasty. Oh my God, they're so good. Okay, um, and I think I've shown this before. I hope not, but I. For the small amount of powders that I have been using, I have been really enjoying my po Napoleon Paradis. I hope I'm saying the last name right. Paradis? That's how I've always said it. Um, it's the Set Compact. And it's the Contour and Highlight. And it has... the This brown is a very warm brown, which I really like because my skin has got a really red tone to it. I don't really use these much, but they are pretty. Okay, I'll show you them just so you'll see what they look like. I don't use them much, but they are pretty. And the the shim or the um, highlight is gorgeous, you guys. I mean, we're not talking any kind of, you know, anything that an older skin wouldn't want to use. I mean, it's very, very pretty, very subtle, and um, you know, low key, very understated highlight. But this right here is what I love. I love this highlight. Love it. Or no, I love it for a highlight. It's not a highlight. It's meant to use to contour, but I use it for a highlight and it looks gorgeous. Um, oddly enough, it gives me a highlight without um, uh, it's without it being a highlight. I don't know how else to explain it, but you know the NYX um, contour and highlight compact that has the stark white powder and the the uh, you know the half and half um that that powder i although i love that compact very much i like it a lot and i've owned a ton of them but i find lately recently it just sits on top of my skin and i just i don't know i've just been looking around for different ones and i found that i really like this so if you guys happen to see these and this is at the target um this is a Target brand. It's like a, the higher end. They usually, in our Target, they're stocked next to the Pixie line. But yeah, that is that. Okay, and then when Pixie was having their big blowout sale the other day, I picked up this um, palette. And I've been really liking this. It's so pretty. Soft and subtle. And once I get that deep tan going on, it's really gonna look it's really gonna look good for um for summer and spring. Isn't that beautiful? And there's a lot of product in here, you guys, and I mean pixies are you know, I don't mind the brand at all. You know, they're nice and pigmented, and I mean there's a ton of product in it. Um, you got a nice big mirror right here. Just a, a lovely palette. I only paid like um, $12.50 for it. What a score, right? Gorgeous little palette. So I've been, really been liking that. Okay, and then I got the e.l.f. moisturizing sticks. Now, I think we've all heard everybody talking about the just the stick itself. Well, now e.l.f. has come out with a foundation in a stick. Okay? Now, I didn't really get these expecting to use it for a foundation because, you know, when you got almost 50-year-old skin, 
Um, you got to be really picky about you know what foundations you use. But what I did get these for, I, the first one I got was the dark one, and when it worked so well for my purposes, then I purchased um, two others. And what I used this dark one for, this is the darkest shade that they have, okay? And I just use it for a cream contour. And it works lovely because it's got a very, very warm reddish undertone to it, which I have a hard time finding a good cream contour for my skin because I'm so, you know, have such a red undertone. So that has been working beautifully for a contour cream. So any of you out there... You know, and I mean, look at how much you get for crying out loud. I mean, it, it rolls all the way up. It's up to here. You get an enormous amount of product for a couple bucks. And it's nice and moisturizing and, and it's really nice. Okay. So then I ordered the, uh, in medium, I, the same thing, the moisturizing stick in medium. Now this is just, um, this is what uh, I think Emily Noel had gotten one of these and she got hers in medium. Okay. And what I got this for was contour, you know, um, under eye, setting my under eye, and it works really good. It's nice and smooth and moisturizing, and the only place on my entire face that is any kind of dry is under my eyes. Um, everywhere else I'm oil slick, which, why am I going to cream products, right? But they look so much better on my skin. But I will take my you know, my, my little foundation stick, and where's my Mac? Well, anyways, and I'll spritz it with a little bit of Fix Plus, and I'll just dab it right on there, like that, and do my under eyes, and it's gorgeous. It looks beautiful, you guys. I am so tickle pink with this, so happy. I got the light one as well. <laughs> yep, I did. In that last sale, I got the pure, it's not pure white, but it's like ivory called, and I used this for highlight, for highlighting, and it works beautifully beautifully so I quite literally besides cream shadows because I don't really I'm not a big cream shadow person but um yeah I'm just really really liking these and I don't like I said I don't use it for a full coverage foundation or an all over fast foundation face foundation but you guys if anybody out there has gotten these and is using it in that manner that they're intended in would you let me know let me know and see how it works for you because I have yet to do that um and that's weird too because I usually you know I rip my bags open and wipe my face off and, you know, start putting makeup on to see how it looks. But I haven't done that with this yet. So if anybody has any opinions on how their new foundation stick works for you, let me know. But, um, yeah, they work really good for contouring and highlighting, too. So, okay, I have been loving... A few months ago, Walmart had this big blowout sale on all of their organics products. And I got the hair masks in all of them, like the... The uh, Brazilian Keratin, and then I got the Awapui, or what, however that's called. And then I got the Coconut one, um, or not the Coconut, the, um, the um, Argon one. And, and I've been using them all, and I like them. I like them all, but this one is rocking it, you guys. I have very, very fine, thin, well, you already know that. But it's very frizzy. I mean, the, my natural curl, if I don't tame it and work it, my natural curl is just like, whoo, you know, it's pretty terrible. And this stuff here, when I use this, I just put it in when I first get in the shower and wash my hair, and then I'll pack this all in my hair and pile it up on top of my head and clip it, and then I'll do the rest of my body. And then, you know, at the end of my shower, I rinse it out. And it has been taming my frizzies, and in this rainy season we've been having, that's a that's quite a chore to do, and it's been doing it. So I have been really liking that this this last week or two. I have been loving this product, so I thought I'd mention it. Now, I've got a little bit left in here, and I am going to, um, and look at it's kind of brown. It's got kind of a brown color. Um, I am going to take the last little bit that I have of this, and I'm going to mix some of my essential oils in it and make me a, a overnight hair mask and see how that works out and I will let you guys know how that works. If it works really good, I'm gonna put the recipe up for you because I like doing that with, you know, um, I've actually got all my stuff here on my desk from video that I'm, I was filming earlier. Um, one of my DIYs that I have coming up for uh, the best moisture mask for your hair you could ever do and it starts out with a $1.50 Palmer's protein mask, and then you put a bunch of goodies, essential oils into it. I'm telling you, my hair, it might be falling out because of the lupus, but it looks good while it's there. <laughs> okay, 
Also, now I think I had mentioned this in a prior video about how much I didn't like it because it dried everything up so bad. But I have been working with this because it's so pretty. So I've been working with it and I have found that if I don't put it on my face and if I just put it on my finger right here and just tap it very lightly right here on my, you know, right in the areas that I want a little bit of highlight, that it works wonderfully. I just can't be going, you know, like this. And I've really been enjoying this, although I'm still not happy about the amount of product that you get. Um, I'm not sure if I even put that video up. I know I filmed it. <laughs> but I did a video of things that I was not happy with recently, like a crapper video or something, and I had this in it because, look it, I've only used this a few times, and that's how much is in the tube. That's it. That's how much you get for $10. That's ridiculous. It's deceitful. It's wrong is what it is. And, oh, and this is Flower Cosmetics. I didn't even mention that. This is Drew Barrymore's line of um, the Spring Collection. Pardon me. The Spring Collection, and this is called Glisten Up Highlighter Chubby Pearl Shimmer. So, yeah. I've been liking that since I learned how to use it. Okay. One of the new e.l.f. products that... Oh, God, I've been doing this so many years. One of the new e.l.f. products I have been loving. you got to like Tea Tree to like this product, okay? So anybody out there that might be on the fence or thinking about getting the e.l.f. Poreless Face Primer, packaging is gorgeous. It is very strong Tea Tree, okay? Very strong. The product is just like a cream. Um, it's absolutely silicone based. I'll tell you that right now. <laughs> if it's not, then, well, it is. It just is. But it's got a heavy, heavy tea tree um, base to it, which I love because it keeps my Maillard at bay. So I love tea tree. I use it in everything. But this stuff here, I have been really loving. It minimizes my pores. It smooths out my fine lines. It gives me just a beautiful, beautiful um, canvas, I guess, to start painting on, and I've had a lot of my clients really like this too. So, yeah, if you guys like tea tree, you've got to pick you up one of these Elf's Poreless Face Primer because it's really nice, really, really nice. Um, matter of fact, in my last order um, that I am thinking about um, hauling for you guys, I ordered several more. That's how much I like them. Very, very nice. Okay. Now for a couple crappers. Now I was going to show you these Almay shadows, but in the haul video that I showed them in, I already pretty much talked about how much they suck, so I'm not going to talk about those. What I am going to talk about are these Freeman masks that I picked up the other day. Now these blow, <laughs> and I got a bunch of them. Now for somebody who doesn't have, apparently I've got a huge face, because these masks go like right here. Yeah, the bottom of it come to the bottom of my lip, and right to the top of my eyebrows on the top. Who the heck? Uh, yeah, um, lots of juice in them. Really juicy. The ingredients are fantastic, but the size. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to squeeze them out and get the juice out, and then I'm going to put one of my little DIY masks in there and soak all the juice up and slap it on my face so I can still use them, you know, without them going to waste or something or... I don't know, but yeah, that was kind of a bummer that the masks don't fit. And I, of all the thousands of masks I've tried in my time, I've never come across that problem. They've always fit, so yeah, weird. Okay, that's all I got, you guys. Um, I'll list everything down below, of course, and I hope that you enjoyed this video. Um, I've got a ton of things going on around me, people outside. My husband's out there aerating the lawn, so I know I seem a little bit scattered. And we are going to a spring fling function tonight. That's why my... I don't know if it looks heavy to you guys, but my makeup is quite heavy today. And we're going to a spring fling um, event tonight, so I'm dressed up to go out. So I love you all so much. If you have not subscribed, please do so. Next giveaway will be April 19th, of course. I love you all. Bye!